My Life with Spinocerebella Ataxia. Out and About Part 3. Before I go home, I thought I'd um, take you into the little nature reserve that's behind our property. It's quite lovely and it's been, because it's been so dry here, the lake and is very low and unfortunately the, they've had to clear out a lot of the undergrowth and the leaf matter and stuff because it was a fire hazard because honestly we've had no rain. So I'll take you in there and show you our nature reserve. I have to be a little cautious coming in here, just here, because it is on quite a slope and this stuff is slippery and the path sort of goes curves that way into the gutters and of course Gertie's tyres aren't really good at the moment they're somewhat bald but I'm not going to replace them because I'm waiting for my new chair so it's a bit pointless to replace her tyres. Now as you can see they've cleared a lot of the leaf matter and branches and stuff from around here because honestly it's been so dry if this had gone up we'd all be in a bit of trouble. So the reserve park people have been very, very good in clearing a lot of the mess out. Normally it's all covered in leaves and things at this time of the year, but for obvious reasons, it's all gone, which is good. I'll stay on this side. Normally I'd cross the bridge and show you our little walkway across but I won't today. Now normally the water would be up to where this walkway is, but you can see as we approach it, there's nothing there, which is, hasn't been very good for the bird life because normally we have all sorts of water birds in here. But as you can see, it's just all swampy and dry. The poor birds have been limited in where they can go. We do have water further down. There's picnic tables here if you want to have a picnic. And on the weekend, of course, you'd see a lot more people here. But this being, whoops, I nearly went off the path. Can't see very well in dappled sunlight. Dappled sunlight is not my friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I am travelling a bit faster than I would normally travel in here. I usually stroll, but because I want to get home, because I want to have lunch, and then I've got a craft thing on this afternoon, and I want to go to that, so I'm not going as slow as I normally would. Now, here I go through this narrow bit. Still on this hill, but Gertie's behaving herself and not sliding, which is good. Here we are at dappled sunlight again, so I just might slow down a bit here to make sure I keep on the path. You can hear how quiet it is. There's no birds singing or anything at the moment. It's really quiet and everything's brown. It's just extraordinary. We won't go any further in today. I'll go over this bridge, which normally there would be water underneath. Oh dear, this is dreadful. I hope we get some, we're supposed to get some rain this week. We shall see. Hello, little fella. How are you going? I haven't got any food for you, sorry. Oh, hello, other little fella. You're going to walk in front of me, are you? Sorry, I, you have to get out of the way, mate. I don't have any food. Sorry. 
These are really big birds. You can't tell from where they are, but if you look at my chair and me, you can see they're, they're quite large. Sorry, guys, I don't have any food. Sorry, can't help you. Another day, I'll bring some lettuce over or something, okay? Or some peas or corn. A lot of people feed these birds bread, which is the worst thing they can feed them. It doesn't matter how much you try and tell people, please don't feed the birds bread because it's not food for them, but they still do it anyway. But if they just bring over their leftover greens or scraps greens, they'd be so much better off and helping the wildlife, not poisoning them with bread. Now up ahead is a shelter. People get married in here and a lot of the people come and feed the birds here. The wrong thing, of course, but that's okay. I'll just try and educate them when I do come over. Now, which is the best way to go? It's hard to see in the depth of the light. Because normally the lake is uplapping, not at the edge, right at the edge of this, but at the bottom of all that woodwork there. But as you can see, there's very little water. They've just done plantings here for more trees and shrubbery. Look at this lovely old railway seat. This is the railway reserve, that's what they call it. So it's appropriate that there's an old, beautiful old iron railway seat here. And there's information boards with all the history of the place and how, what it was, where it is and what have you. I can't actually read them, but I know they're full of interesting information because I've been told so. Oh, that lake, poor lake. Okay, we shall go up here. They've recently created a sort of a, a water feature thing here. But as we have no water, there's nothing here to see. They've done a lot of work, which is, oh, I just heard a cow in the distance. Someone's mooing. We'll go up this way because further along here, you'll actually be able to see some water because this is the deeper part of the lake. I'm back on speed now, because this is a relatively wide open area. I'm not quite safe. Trapped. I've come the wrong way. Ah, here we are. I found it. Whoops, Gertie's sliding. Here we go. I went the wrong way. No idea where I am. Um, Because there's no leaf matter blocking me, I'm, normally I'd find the paths quite easily because there'd be leaf matter around. But because there's another bird, did I get him? Here he is. Hello, bird. Go up around this way, and because the water's so low, that's putting me off orientation wise too because I can't see where I am. It's putting me right off. I'm off the path by the look of it. Oh golly. I think I'm where I shouldn't be. I think I better go this way. more like the path. Yes. That's probably normally all underwater there. That's why I'm being disorientated. Yes, this is the path. We had a little bit of rain on the weekend, but certainly it's done nothing for the lake 
at all because it's certainly lower than last time I was here. So hopefully tomorrow's rain and Thursday will be heavy enough to give us a decent runoff into the lake. This is a bit rough today. Well, at least there's some water, it's not much. It's better than nothing, I suppose. I'm just going to stop for a second because my hand's going numb holding the phone. I don't have my tripod on the chair today because I hadn't expected to be coming out to film because I thought it would be cold, but it's actually quite nice. Now, I'm not going up there today. We'll go this way because I don't have time way and get back to go over this little bridge it's a real real bumpy one <laughs> so I'll just slow down you go over it another path going up there not going that way we're back to that crossover bridge but we won't go across we'll go up the other path to the there's another gate this way and it's not quite so steep perhaps shall see. I like coming in here to stroll. I don't um, normally go this fast. I like to stroll around and just take in a bit of nothingness. No cars, no noise, just the occasional bird and the trees. And when we have one, I like. And Sometimes we have swans and ducks, but obviously not at the moment because they go up here to this gate. And then I'll go in the back way to the village. Gertie's handling it all right today. No slipping and sliding which is good. I don't particularly like it when she does that. Now we have to go along here anyway because I can't get off here because there's no gutter, no ramp rather. There's just a gutter. Ah, rough as. Hang on, I have to Hold on to you a bit tighter because you're swinging around all over the place. I'll be glad when I get my new chair. It's got cross country tyres, big fat ones, and it will make going on these paths and rough bits so much easier. won't be as hard on my poor back <laughs> as this is because it hurts. Okay, here we go. We're back on the road. Now here we are heading back home through the back way. It's an easy little run, just a few paths and then I'm home. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and I'll see you all again soon.